What? It's not like Prejar is going to be using that intro again anytime soon. Hi, I'm Purple Streak, and today I'm taking another look at the weird and wonderful world of SCP fan games. So sit back, relax, and for the next 10 minutes or so, pretend I'm not your least favourite YouTuber. Let's go. So I'm finally playing the Origin of the Youth meme, <coughs> Roblox, as a suggestion from Capno Monkeys. Now I'll be honest, I quite enjoyed this nonsense. There are a few SCP games on Roblox to choose from, but the game I played was Site61 Roleplay by CeeLo34. It's a roleplay server which basically means you can choose a job and then you act it out. Ever wanted to be a janitor? Well here's your chance to live your dream! I love how the janitor has a gun, for those hard to remove stains I'm assuming. He kills 99.9% .9 of germs with his mop and the last 0.01% with a handgun. There's a whole variety of roles you can play as in fact. You've got D-Class, which is fun as you get to make up a reason why you've been locked up. Oh, you do one default dance at one 9-11 memorial site. Then you get taken to your inevitable doom, which is also quite entertaining. Here I got sacrificed to SCP-009, and reading the SCP wiki article on it, it doesn't sound like a fun time. It's also fun to try and escape, although I'm not sure how possible that is. Another interesting classic role is Nine-Tailed Fox. You come geared up with a couple guns and a level 3 SCP access card and are tasked with controlling outbreaks. So any SCPs break out, you better be ready. Medics are pretty cool too because you get instant access to the med bay. You know what that means? A free oxygen tank, hell yeah! That's what all the medics wear, right? Scuba gear? Also you can chill in a hospital bed where your left arm immediately breaks up for some reason. That's pretty cool. In fact a lot of poses are weird in this. This is how people sit down to eat, right? Yeah, yeah, I've just been doing it wrong. Honestly, this game is pretty fun and there's a lot to explore here. It's also free with optional paid enhancements like a level 5 keycard to access a few more SCPs like 096 or SCP-017. It's not personally worth it for me, but those who have purchased one can open up the locked doors for others, which is good and a great way to buy popularity on the server. You can buy friends on this server for under $10. Not bad. There's quite a selection of SCPs here too, although not all the models seem to fit in with the rest of the Roblox world. The SCP-106 model fits right in, but then the SCP-096 one is realistic looking. Oh, and phases in and out of existence. Yeah, this game's quite glitchy in places. I do like that I can fire bullets backwards out of my gun, although that could be just a Roblox thing. A few other SCPs you'll meet include SCP-002, which honestly looks great in Roblox form. SCP-009, which kills you pretty quickly, SCP-049, SCP-096, SCP-106, SCP-173, and many others. Definitely give this game a look if you're interested. You won't be disappointed. The next game I'm going to take a look at was recommended to me by Dabio Gooda. Uh, sorry if I butcher that. So this game is based off SCP-3008. No surprises there. And this SCP is essentially an endless Ikea filled with SCP-3008-2, humanoid creatures resembling retail workers who become hostile at night. The entry talks about how people who get trapped inside have had to build makeshift shelters to protect themselves from the monsters, which is what I think this game is trying to replicate. Unfortunately though, I couldn't seem to find an FAQ or instructions on this game at all, so I went in blind and couldn't really work out what to do. I managed to grab stuff and I can break down objects for crafting, but the crafting menu seems to be empty? After a while the lights go out, so it's time to defend myself. I found a pool stick, so armed with this devastating weapon I decided to hunt down my prey. And then I died. I wasn't sure what else to do really. I was also about to starve and I couldn't find any food, so death by employee was probably the best way to go. Next, I came across a game called The Broken God, so I thought I'd check it out. It throws you immediately into the action, which is pretty cool. You're face to face with SCP-939, with the only exit being locked. So you run past him to grab a keycard to open the door, and then he starts glitching up into the air. No matter, let's just ignore that for now. Then you go through the locked door and down the corridor, and I decided to see if he'd follow me through the small door. He did, although he kind of just cheated and went through the wall. In fact, it actually seems to prefer walking through walls, uh, as you can see here. And then you go through this door, this metal thing comes out of the building for some reason, and then that's it. It just hangs on this screen forever then. Can't even quit. This game certainly has promise, but I think they shouldn't have put this demo out in the state it's in. It really needs a lot of work. The next game is SCP-022, a short free game available on Steam. 
This game was actually pretty interesting, being that it was an Escape the Room game where you find yourself locked in SCP-022, a morgue of anomalous properties. This game has a nice creepy vibe with the various cadavers popping out of the morgue. Also, if you hop in one, you get a GTA death minus the sound effect, which I'll happily edit in. Also, die immediately. Don't mind if I do. With this game, you have to work out how to escape, and I feel it does a good job of not holding a hand, but also not making it impossible. If you hit the lights, for example, you can see a couple of handprints which give you an idea of what you can do and what you can interact with. And once you figure out you can set fire to the wood, it's all easy enough to work out from there. I won't spoil any more as it's definitely worth a playthrough. And honestly, the joke I immediately jumped to after seeing what happens just before the end would probably get me demonetized. Moving on. It was a Holocaust joke. Another game I was asked to check out was SCP Blackout on Steam. It's also in VR, but I'm currently living off scraps of kebab I find on the street, so I'm not in a position to buy a VR headset just yet. So I'll be reviewing the standard version. I have to say this game is really impressive and fleshed out compared to the majority of the SCP fan games I've played. The game starts out in a room which explains the main mechanics of the game in a non-intrusive way. If you want to go in prepared, just read through all the tips such as using a flashlight to banish SCPs and collect keycards to open doors. Or you can skip all the tutorial info and go straight into the game. So the premise for this game is that you're a D-Class locked in a cell. Then you hear multiple screams, your door opens and you realise there's been a containment breach. You then seize the moment to escape the facility while avoiding the SCPs roaming the halls. This involves finding a flashlight and getting increasingly high level keycards to progress. The atmosphere is really captivating in this one, I was genuinely on edge playing this. And I really like the way the lights will flicker on as you step closer, so you can either walk around in near pitch darkness and just let the facility lights guide the way, or you can use your torch for peace of mind but at the expense of your valuable batteries. The torch is also reminiscent of Alan Wake, where it serves two purposes. It gives you a light source and also dispatches the unidentified SCPs that seek you with a blinding flash of light that heavily drains the battery. And because of this, you constantly have to manage how much energy you have left and if using the torch is fully necessary or to save it for the next SCP encounter. It just adds another dimension of fear to the game. Also, when I say unidentified SCPs, it's not that I don't know what SCP it is. The creator of the game says they're original creations, so I guess they're just brand new for the game. Just felt I'd point that out as I still get comments to this day about how I messed up the SCP lore in my SCP Secret Lab parody. But don't worry, whilst this facility is home to over 3,000 SCPs, for some reason we'll only be dealing with about 4 or 5 of them. Any questions? I get it, there's multiple sites, I'm sorry. Once you die in this game, it's unfortunately back to start, which is a shame considering how bad I am at games. Also, items such as batteries and keycards change positions, so you can't just rush back to the place you found them before either. I can only make it so far, so I can't comment on what the late game is like in this demo, but it's definitely worth checking out. When this game leaves early access, then I may revisit it, but until then I've got more games to review. So... Next! SCP Isolation This game is a story-driven SCP game which piqued my interest. You start off in the backseat of a car being taken to an SCP facility, and that groovy jazz has me hyped. The facility seems normal to start with, but then as you'd expect by now, there's a containment breach of some description. The gameplay seems okay, the controls are quite janky though. Like here for example, it's clear the game doesn't want you to go this way, and I appreciate that. I hate going the wrong way for ages just to find out I took the wrong door half a mile back, but surely just placing an invisible wall over the doorway wasn't the way to go. How do I door? Also, for whatever reason, the character must be a major fan of Dutch angles, because he can't hold his head straight at all. It's constantly tilted. Even if this guy has a peg leg, he'd still hold his head straight, surely. Although a peg leg could possibly explain how much the head bobs whenever you run. I mean, look at this. I really like how the game plays out though. As you start with going to the cafeteria as if it's just a regular day at the office, then stuff starts going down. It's a real shame that the creator stopped working on this game because as janky as it currently looks, this could easily be an indie classic like Containment Breach with a bit of polish in time. I hope this guy went on to work on more games. Check out this message by the way. That's in the last build of this game ever. Unfortunately I couldn't get far into this game as it just kept crashing on me. 
So I'll just end this segment on me running backwards, because I can do that for some reason. So the last game I'm going to take a look at is Gary's Mod, and again it is an SCP roleplay server. Also, this has no real relevance at all, but I thought this was hilarious. They were all good dynamic shots of the SCP Foundation. This shot depicting the opening scene and containment breach is great, but there's one, just one loading screen that isn't like the others. <laughs> look at this! They've got their arms behind their backs, yet they're holding their guns. <laughs> this looks so bad and I love it. Okay, this game. Wow. Utter nonsense, but in the best way possible. It's the same as the Roblox roleplay server, where you get tasks of roleplaying as the role you chose, although in this you have to reach higher levels to be different classes. I earned the right to work in a lonely cafeteria at one point, so that was cool I guess. It's like I'm roleplaying my social life, except there's one more person here. So in my short time playing on this server, I was murdered multiple times before the NTF decided that all the D-Class had to be tied up in a cafeteria. Apparently some D-Class had a radio and some guns on them or something. Then a war broke out. Also at one point I escaped because as they dragged the D-Class away on leads, I got stuck in a corner and got freed. <laughs> what a weird game. Also this game is really noisy. Everyone likes to sing or yell memes and it's just general chaos. <laughs> But eh, each to his own I guess. I didn't come across any SCPs while I was playing, so here's some quick YouTube clips of some of the SCPs you'll come across on this roleplay server. You know, because I'm lazy. And there you have it! If you want to see any more SCP fan games, I've made two other videos on the subject, and if you have any suggestions for future videos, leave them in the comments below. Also consider subscribing and liking the video.